family. What's up with it? What's up? Let me turn this down for a second. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and let me get comfortable. What's up with it? What's good? Okay. Today is August the 4th. 2016 and it is 6:47 in the p.m. and I come on to do a little haul uh, for the things, the little goodies that I've been getting from Goodwill and I've been posting on um, my social networks. Um, my the ones that I use most most often were you know you know I'm really on there a lot and that's Instagram and Facebook. I do have Twitter and I do post over there on Twitter and Tumblr and stuff. But I'm not as active over there. So when you guys send me some messages over there and I don't respond, that's because I don't know too much about a tweet. Real shit. I don't know what to do. None of that kind of shit. So I don't really, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really over there like that. And I don't have a Snapchat. My kids and stuff got Snapchat, but I don't, I don't have Snapchat. I don't know how it worked. I don't know nothing about it. So I'm out of that loop. But I came on to show y'all what I got, to show y'all up close on what I got. Now, we really don't need to put a motherfucker out today because, you know, we're really just chilling. We're not talking about, you know, nothing explicit, nothing like that. You know what I mean? Just some regular shit. You know, we're just conversing. We're just talking, just chalking it up. Um, and uh, I hope uh, I'm not flashing or anything like that. Um... What I got on today? Well, I, I just got on me some like little yoga like little pants and a little uh uh and I got a a little cut off little top and these pants are are short so you know if you're able to see them but you know this is what happened this is this is you know I'm just comfortable. Um, my kids started school on Monday and uh, so you know all is well. Yesterday my daughter had her uh, orientation. Uh, yesterday and uh, for those of you guys that don't know last week was my daughter's birthday and on her birthday She had her interview. She had an interview the same day and got the job on her birthday. Imagine that So and that was last One day last week the 27th and um, And so I had to go and get you know her work permit and you know different stuff and uh so I went and did all that, and yesterday was her orientation. So um, she uh, now is in the 12th grade. She has more than enough credit, so she doesn't have a first period, and she doesn't have a seventh period. I mean, excuse me, a sixth period. So she just goes second to fifth period, and she's done. So she's going to be going to work every day at 3 o'clock. So, and my baby's 17. How about that one? Are these months and days and years and shit not going by fast? Y'all, my nail is. I don't know, it's grabbing on oh, shit. Hold on, let me cut this air on because it's hot. And I'm going to need a little bit of it. Okay, so um, what am I burning? Well, today, let me show you what I am burning on today. Um, I'm burning my cones. This is a cone holder, okay? That little fly keep messing with me. Um, I don't know, it's something about some of my different incense that I burn. Um, the, the uh, You know, the flies love it. And I got to keep everything closed up because it'd be flies trying to come in. I don't know. I think they love the scent as well. But this is called a cone burner. And inside of here is where you put your cones at and you burn them. And they're just same as incense. Same thing. They're just cones. And um, they, um, they, um, they cute. I like them. They're cute. They're different. And, you know, um, they burn just about the same amount of time. You can get different sizes of cones. Um, I have a place that I go to um, off of Maple, downtown L.A., <clears throat> across the street. For those of you guys that would like to know uh, what spot I go to, I did post it on um, Facebook to tell you guys where, where, you know, where my incense spot that I go to. My incense spot, incense is $24. Cones is $54. Um, my oils, like, um, let me show you, like these right here, this is my frankincense, this is my dragon blood, this is patchouli, this one right here is, um, um, magnolia, I got Chloe and Dior, I got sandalwood, you know, that kind of stuff like that. 
So I got different ones, and plus, of course, I got my Egyptian musk. And um, these are a dollar, and um, it's just a bomb little, it's a bomb ass spot that I go to, and I get my oil from and win it, okay, win it, okay. And so, and I have my diffuser there, and my different, you know, my burners and stuff is all over there. And um, so, yeah, that's what's happening. So if you see a little, you know, what I'm saying a little smoke going around it ain't no ghost in this motherfucker it's this motherfucking um burner right here and it kicks off a gang of smoke um but first let me see what i'm gonna get into on my goodies i know what y'all waiting on so i'm gonna do that motherfucker last okay to blow your motherfucking lace back i'm gonna do that bitch last okay so we're gonna run through this kind of quick but i would like to you know increase the energy in the room and set up my feng shui and we're going to start off with my first motherfucking thing right here. And nigga, it is called no other than an elephant. Do you see this right here? Do you see it? Now, for those of you guys that follow um, <clears throat> different things, different religions, um, and like things with meaning, I'm one that like things with meaning. Now, I believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's where I was raised. I was raised Church of God in Christ. I believe in all that, okay? Um, but as I begin to get older and I begin to strengthen my spirituality, I have a respect for other denominations and other religions and cultures and all that other kind of stuff. I just have a respect for that. I feel like, you know, whatever a person is into, you ain't got to like it, but respect it, though. You know what I mean? And ignorance is bliss. And right off the top, people be like, oh, shit, wait a minute, what you into? What you got going on? It ain't none of that, my girl. Uh, it's an elephant, okay? And I like him, and he, and he cute, and he's sitting in my living room, and I just brought him back here so y'all can holler at him. Now, how much did I pay for him? Five dollars. Huh? I put five on it and came home with him. Plus my 10% military discount while you're bullshitting, but I came home with this girl right here. Now, in different religions, like in Hindu, um, they call this no other than a Ganesha. Okay, that's what this is called in that particular religion. And, um, you know, they have their own sets of, of meaning uh, when it comes down to this. And their Ganesha is like, um, it's like a god of luck and protection and, and good fortune and things of that nature. That's what a Ganesha, that's what they call it in Hindu. But then also in Buddha, like if you're into Buddhism and all that, baby, hey, first of all, let me, hold on, I don't want to put you... I gotta put you down. Damn it, I gotta put you down. I love this motherfucker. I was really hoping that it was like, you know, somewhat like a hurricane where, or or like a candle holder where you put a candle in there, but he ain't one of them. And he not open nowhere. See? He not open nowhere. So I can't put nothing in him, but if I could have put a little tea light in this motherfucker and have him glistening. Anyway, but uh, my little elephant, and I love him. And uh, she going to sit right there and she going to have a little feng shui going for us. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but like I was saying though, in, um, in, like, in Buddha, it's like compassion. Um, it's also like a good luck, protection, um, patience. Um, what else? Then there's a, a meaning of stability, um, protection, uh, peace. All kinds of stuff is the meaning of an elephant. I'm going to ask y'all to look it up. But, you know, different religions have different meanings. But I just know that Hindu calls it Ganesha. And then Buddha has theirs. And then just regularly, then, you know. So it just depends on, you know, how you... Something's itching me, goddammit. Something's itching me all in my motherfucking back. I don't know what's happening. Shit. You know what I'm saying? We've been having little mosquitoes wandering around this motherfucking... I think I got a little bump on my back that a mosquito done got at me or something. But anyway, nonetheless, um, um, that's a little honor and protection and all that kind of stuff on the elephant. So now that I showed you guys the elephant, I also I brought one of these in here because I had bought like four of them. And they were $2 a piece at my um, Goodwill. And they've never been used. And I just brought one of them in here because they're all the same color. Um, but, um, and it's real heavy, too. And for $2, you know I had to get all they had, and they had four of them. So, um, yeah. So, 
And it smells real good too. It's sweet mulberry. Mm-hmm. It doesn't say who it's made by. I ain't really tripping, you know what I mean? But I just love it though. So I got that. Then I'm going to go with, um, I took this out of my uh, Never Full. This is my um, DS. Yeah, nigga. I still got, you know what I'm saying? I still rolls with my DS. This is my shit, okay? So, this, uh, and this is in Tiffany Teal. Uh, I bought this several years ago, and I got it from Target so many years ago. And it was like a limited edition. And... Um, and I'm, I'm certain I showed it on video. I had to because I got it like in 2010 or something. So I'm certain y'all have seen this before. But as you can see, I still got this motherfucker. Still in the same condition. Still um, new looking. Look at the inside of her. You know what I'm saying? I take care of my shit now. That's why I keep my shit in my room. My kids have theirs that they fuck with. And I have mine that I get down with. Uh, don't mix the two because nigga you ain't gonna be scratching on your ass and eating peanut butter and jelly and all that old type of shit and having my shit looking crazy. We not doing that. Or have my shit broke, can't find a can't find a charge and all that shit. Nah, it's not gonna be like that on my shit. But uh I said that to say I got me a program. Um and this is Brain Age book and I got it for three ninety nine but I already got one in here. But this one right here got Sudoku on it. And so, um, it's the same thing, but I like these type of, um, games. I like games that's strengthening my, you know, my, 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 my brain, you know, strengthening my memory. And, um, you know, like I always talk about my clairvoyance, I like stuff that's going to strengthen me mentally. You know what I mean? And they say the mind is the last thing to go. So if I'm ever in a situation, if God see that you know, that I'm just bedridden at some point in my life and all I got left is remembering the life that I've lived and the things that I used to do. I want my mind to work a long time for the distance, for the duration. And I, you know, I, I don't want to be senile or none of that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So for years, I've been playing a lot of games that strengthen that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, uh, you know, your brain power. So anyway, I got me a little program. It was $3.99, but come to find out I had the same one. Um, but I'm going to roll that into this right here too because this ain't got shit to do with the Goodwill, but this is what my kids blessed me with. And uh, I just want to uh, uh, put y'all up on it and show y'all what it is right quick. Let me get my little, hold on, because check this out. I was back here in my room. I was chilling and kicking and minding my own business. I eat. And so my baby came knocked on the door. Check this out. Firstborn knocked on the door, gave me an eight piece of the breaded Parmesan wings, bone out from a Pizza Hut. Nigga ran mommy a check. Mama, go take care of whatever you need to. Go put this on whatever you need, okay? And gave me a coloring book and some markers. I had to post it. I had to post it online so y'all motherfuckers could see it. My soul was fucked up. I, oh my God, I was doing the ugly cry and everything. I was so fucked up. I was like, oh my God, my baby just did this for me. Like, for real. And so, I like this kind of stuff. My kids know that this is another one of my pastimes. Besides playing my games and stuff, my brain power games, I also like to color. So, my kids um, got me a coloring book and um, got me some crayons so shout out to that i wanted to show that as well um what else did i get okay now let's get back on the on the motherfucking goodwill well now let's talk about this for a minute shout out to my big sissy loretta and also my sister jennifer and they sent me a box of goodies y'all and i don't even think i ever even showed these but my motivation for looking at these is I was just watching one of Jody's videos and she was doing her makeup, getting ready for work. And I was like, damn, she is not bullshitting with these motherfucking brushes, right? And so, and I, you know, I was sitting here and I had this in my Never Full as well as my thing. So when I pulled that, my, uh, my DS out, I also pulled this out and I, I just kind of, you know, it kind of uh, brought that back. And then two, Loretta had hit me up on Facebook a little bit ago and so so all that kind of tied in so here I was going back and forth with Loretta I'm watching Jody's video 
And then I was like, okay, well then let me go ahead on and do my own video so I can show you guys the stuff that I got from the Goodwill and all that. So in the midst of it all, bam, my sissy sent me some um, some makeup brushes, y'all, in this cute little Hello Kitty box, and they pink, and they got look, they got pink on y'all, they got pink on the tip on the tip of them. I'm so afraid to use them because I'm like, if I use them. If I wash them, would they go back to the same color? Would they be ugly looking? Because they was just so cute. And when I was watching Jody's brushes, all her brushes, I think they was all black. And so, and I'm like, okay, if I use these, y'all let me know. If I use these, because I really want to, I, I, I don't need to want to really beat my, beat my shit all the way the fuck up. I don't want to do all that. You know what I'm saying? I was watching her do the steps, but I was like, damn. You know, she was doing it like it was an easy thing to do. And for a novice like me, I was like, damn, it was too many steps. So y'all let me know, how can I still do the beat up and I ain't going through all the many steps? Not saying that I want to wear makeup all the time because I don't want to wear makeup all the time. But when I do wear it, I want to know how to do it and do it right. Let me just say that, you know, I don't want to wear it all the time, but when I do wear it, I want to be able to do it right. And watching Jody today, I was like, man, I could do this, but, you know, and, and then I, I brought out my, my sissy's uh, brushes and shit, and I was like, nigga, I'm inspired like a motherfucker. I was inspired, Jody. I was inspired. I was inspired, mama. And let me just say this. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm talking to my nigga right now. This is my nigga. We go way back, way before YouTube, way before all this motherfucking shit. Nigga, I love you. I do. I love you, nigga. I miss you. I see what you're doing. You look good as a motherfucker, okay? And I just wanted to say that, okay? I just wanted to say that, you know? And one thing about um, me and Jody, it was nothing for us to say how much we loved each other. That was just how we got down. But nigga, you know, me and you, Real shit. I love you though, dog. You my motherfucking nigga. I was watching you. I watch your videos too. And I was like, you know what? Let me reach out to my motherfucking nigga, you know. Because your number and shit done changed and all that other kind of stuff. And I just wanted to tell wanted to say, coming from me, fuck anybody else. Because I know motherfuckers be sending me messages and all this other kind of stuff. Nigga, fuck all that. Me, it, it, nigga, this me and you. Fuck all that other bullshit, nigga. This is straight um South Central LA, nigga. We going all the way back to that. Okay, we're going all the way back there. Okay, where we met at. Nigga, I love you. I miss you a great deal. Holler at your motherfucking partner. I got you. I see what you're trying to do. You're there, nigga. Did we not talk about this? See, what's so cold about it is, <clears throat> we talked about this shit a long time ago. And it's a trip on how all this shit comes, you know, comes into focus. And it all comes to pass. Because for many years, long, 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 long time ago, my girl didn't just start thinking about getting a gastric bypass because somebody else done done it. Hell no. Nah. She was wanting that shit long motherfucking time ago. You know what I'm saying? Back when, oh my God, when you was working at Forever 21, my nigga, when you was at Forever 21, what year was that? That was 2004, five. Somewhere along up in there. Five, six, seven, oh. No, it was way before all that. So it had to be, because, nigga, this was back in when we was fucking with Monique. So, you nigga, me and you, I miss you, y'all. You my motherfucking partner. My partner for life, okay? I just wanted to say that. I love you and I miss you. Now, I'm back on this motherfucking shit right here. <clears throat> now, anyway... Jody and all y'all, whatever, y'all, okay, now, now everybody can come back in, I just had to have a little moment with my partner, you know what I mean, anyway, so, uh, uh, back on the Goodwill, so, I went to the Goodwill yesterday, I had to do my chores, I posted on Facebook, I said, you know what, I gotta get up and go get my chores done, and after I get done with my chores, maybe I'll go to the Goodwill, you know, just to see what they got. Y'all, I fucked around, went to the Goodwill and hit the motherfucking jackpot. You understand? And so, but I posted, <clears throat> fuck it. I posted this girl right here on my Facebook yesterday. Okay, we're going to talk about this mother bad motherfucker in a minute. Okay? Yeah, she is authentic. Don't fuck with it. Okay? She's authentic. Check the patina. Okay? Um, 
And I got this yesterday at the Goodwill. So we're going to talk about this this bad motherfucker too. Because, nigga, I got a place with your ass over there with Miss Chanel and uh, Miss motherfucking Dooney and um, um, Coach and all them motherfuckers. I got a, I got some room for your ass, okay? But we're going to set you down for a few. So after I did my chores, one mind said, come on and go to the Goodwill, you know? And it was a trip because I had got up, I had took me a shower, I had to go and print out Tioni's um, permit and all that kind of stuff. And so my printer wasn't working right. So I said, okay, well then I'll go to Staples. In the midst of it all, how about this motherfucker I know just said, I got something for you, come up here. Bang, bang. I got up there, that motherfucker gave me that bitch right there. Put a tag on that bitch, said, what? $29.99. Holla at your motherfucking partner. I'm going to ask that you look at the back. Look at the motherfucking bottom. See how the, the, how the patterns go. Now, one thing about Louis Vuitton, the patterns be on deck. Yes, baby. I got enough of these bitches to know how it go, okay? All of the hardware. Check out all that shit. All this brass around this bitch. Yes. He hooked me the fuck up. Nigga, you hooked me up for $30. And then gave me 10% off this motherfucker. Baby. Okay. But also, he comes out of the glass with this. This is Ugg's um, 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 care kit. And it has all of the stuff for my Ugg boots to clean them up. It got the brushes. Everything is like brand new. All this shit is like brand new. Like it's never been used. Look at the quality of the brush. Shit, high quality. I got a bomb ass motherfucking Goodwill that I go to. I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna even uh, name drop the hood that it's in. Cause I ain't, I ain't trying to run up into no motherfucker that I know and bitch be like, uh, excuse me, bitch, I came before you. Now nah, you not gonna do me that. Mm -mm. I'm always sharing, and I'm a sharing motherfucker. I'm a be, I'm a be that. I'm sharing with you now to tell you where I got my shit from. But my primary location, fuck. That, I ain't going to be able to do it. I, I'm just not going to be able to do it. I'm sorry. I ain't going to be able to do it. Call me whatever. I just can't. I can't. Because fuck that shit. I got it too good over there. They see my black ass when I come out when I'm parking and shit. Hey, girl. Yeah. All that. So, anyway, 